Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today we're going to be capturing a workshop called Charleston Landfill. It's over here in the ash heap. It's encircled by AVR Medical, the Rusty Pick, and Relay Tower HGB709. Uh, also Charleston Train Yard. This is the best workshop in the game. Uh, when you capture it, uh, it produces food and water at a medium rate of uh, six and eight respectively. It has three junk extractors, one aluminum, one copper, and one steel. If you've watched enough of my videos, you know that I am a whore for copper, aluminum, and steel. Uh, junk is also great. So every one of those nodes is worth uh, harvesting. So uh, it's the workshop that we can make the most use of. There is no uh, sort of dead resource nodes. So if you're going to capture any one of them, th make it this one. This is the kind of thing that if you're playing, or if I'm playing for, you know, I'm going to be playing all afternoon. I just want to do some exploration. I'm going to be doing some events. Uh, I'll capture this and just keep it in my rotation. Set a 30 minute timer on my phone and just keep it maintained. Uh, or a 22 minute timer or 28 minute timer if you want to make full use of it. So there's going to be some enemies around it that we have to mop up first. Uh, where are we? There's quite, typically not a lot of enemies here. And the only downside with this one is we don't get legendary enemies on the defense waves. So it can be... Uh, the, the enemies isn't something worth writing home about. Oftentimes we get robots and uh, super mutants. Uh, and Scorch to try to take this back from us. Now, the nice thing is the enemies are very easy. So this is the kind of thing that you can actually put turrets up at and have the turrets help you defend. So we are going to put on a different perk for this before we capture it called Home Defense. So turrets work very good against level 50 mobs. They work okay not very good against level 75s and they're useless against level 100s so if you're capturing workshops in high level areas the enemies that spawn will often be level 75 to level 100 uh, making turrets rather worthless the enemies will clean up your turrets before they have a chance to really take any of them down oh, we still have a few more to clear out <laughs> So we're claiming it here. So I'm going to show you how to make a blueprint item and we're going to test to see if it works as well. To see if we can make a, a quick uh, turret defense post. There we go. So this is now mine. We're going to have a defend quest pop up here in a sec. So we're going to see if we can make a fast blueprint for uh, where's defenses. We're going to make a little tower using the perimeter wall and turrets. So we're going to place two turrets on this one and two. Simple as that. Now we're going to highlight this whole structure and select the turrets. And we're going to create blueprint uh, new. And we're going to call this, because uh, I want to find it easy, uh, a 11A turret. Uh, because it sorts alphabetically, um, the ones that you made most recently will be at the top. Or the, the ones you made with a, 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 a higher name. There you go. Cool. So we have a nice easy turret here. And when we have the contractor perk, one of the big... Look at Oh, so I already have turrets stored. Hold on. Let me get rid of stored. I just want to see what the, the workshop's going to pay for here. So the workshop is going to be paying for circuit gear, oil, steel, and wood because they're highlighted green. So we don't have to pay for them out of pocket. And we're going to put one here. Problem with this junkyard is there's not a lot of flat land to build stuff. 
So you just have to make sure the staircase isn't clipping into something like a refrigerator. And we're going to do another one here. So again, one of the big benefits of this workshop is your turrets will be effective. Even these um, sort of uh, second level machine gun turrets are going to be more than enough to mop up the enemies. So we're going to place just a few. We get most of the enemies spawning from that side, but we're also going to place um, one over here as well. Two over here. So we're going to place one here for reasons that I'll explain later. And one over here for reasons that I'll explain later. And I will place my handy dandy flying fortress. Um, flying fortress over here. Last time I checked, this was before in patch 26, this worked here. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. Look, look at that. Look at that. I'm super excited about it. It works out perfectly. So we have that framed up at the back of the workshop. Staircase comes down. Could have tapped it back a little bit. Okay, so we are about to have our uh, workshop attacked, and once we're done that, we'll build these. Uh, we'll build up the resources. If I'm doing this myself, I would have had all the resources placed now, but I don't want to rush through things for you. So we have liberators coming from over here. There we go. So again, these turrets will take them out very easily. Can I move this forward a bit? Yeah, 